here's Ellie and all of my bags from my haul, but I think she wants to go outside, right, Ellie? Do you want to go out? Okay. Let's see. Hopefully the neighbor dogs are out. That's where she's going to go. She's going to go check for them, but I don't think they're out. Okay, have fun, Ellie. I'm going to do my video, okay? Love you. Are you coming back? You're coming back? Okay, I have to do my video and then I'll play with you, okay? Okay, I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, let's get started on this haul video. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming to check out this video. I am doing a big thrift store and consignment store haul of some stuff I picked up. I have tons of good stuff. So make sure you stick around to the end. I'm gonna do my consignment store last, which is where I got some really good brands. But I also found some good stuff at Goodwill too. So if you like reseller content and you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing that down below. You can push the bell next to it. It'll give you notifications every time I put out a new video. If you've already subscribed, thanks for coming back and please give this video a thumbs up. You guys can help support my channel by liking this video, commenting always helps push it out to the algorithm more. And I do reply to all of my comments. I usually check them pretty regularly for now because I don't have a huge channel. Also, you can use an Amazon link down below. Even if you don't wanna buy products that I have linked, you can click on that link and then you can do, um, just search in the search bar for whatever you are normally going to order. And I get a little bit of a kickback on that too. So that's some ways you can support me if you want to. Let me grab my water because I can already tell my throat's gonna be dry. Okay. We're gonna get right into this. If you see anything that you like or you're interested in, please message me on Instagram. That is the fastest way. If you absolutely don't have Instagram or you hate it, you can email me. That's down below. Speaking of email, I think I might change my email soon. I've used like Outlook forever and all of a sudden it keeps saying that uh, my storage is almost full and I tried so many billions of things and watched videos and I cannot figure it out. I got like a little bit more storage, but it's been a pain. So I might switch to Gmail or something. I don't know. And I also don't know why I'm telling you this because you probably literally don't care. Okay, let's get on with the haul. First, we have this Antonio Milani, which I basically never pick up, but I got this because it's a cashmere sweater. It's a dark gray, like crew neck, just good classic cashmere. I've been selling it so good. I've sold a couple of Everlane and J. Crew pieces super fast within like a day of listing. So I was definitely wanting to pick this up. These couple things are from St. Vincent de Paul, which I don't go to very much, but every once in a while I will. So did find some good stuff there. Here's a Lily Pulitzer cardigan. This is a size large and it is possibly, it's a viscose polyester, never mind. Um, it's a white knit open cardigan sweater with this like round hem. So that's cute. Lily Pulitzer has a style number on the tags. So it'll be really easy for me to look up comps. Next we have an Eileen Fisher sweater. This is in a size small and it is a blue boat neck, which is where the neck just kind of almost goes straight across. Long sleeve, kind of like a ribbed, a little bit of a relaxed sleeve sweater. And let me check the fabric on that. It's a silk cotton blend. So great fabric content on that. I'll probably list that for around 40 would be my guess. Um, next we have a really pretty soft surroundings top in a size extra large. It has all of this cool gold detail beading with the green floral like sheer sleeves and it is a v-neck with the beading all over the front there. So I didn't look up comps in this specific style because I just feel like I know from experience that it's going to do well. I had a question in one of my recent videos when I say like, okay, I'm gonna try to get $30 for this. Like, do I price it at 30 or do I price it at 40 and then hope to get 30? And I did reply in the comment, but I figured I would just say it here in case other people had the same question. I feel like I do both and I feel like it just depends. I've been reselling for so long now, I kind of just know like, if it's a basic shirt on like something that I can find all of the time and re replace really easy, kind of like soft surroundings, like I might just list it for 30 and maybe somebody will buy it full price or I'll take an offer of like 25. But if it's something that I feel like is like a little more rare or like I know for sure this is worth more than that, I will price it a little bit above the current sold comps, but not a ton. I just feel like that works better for me not to like 
way, way overpriced things because then it tends to sit for a really long time or people don't even look at it because they're like, that price is too high. So it's kind of just depends. It's not really a clear answer. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my answer. This is Soft Surroundings 2. It's an older tag. Um, it's a size large, but I got it because of the style. Again, lots of beading with this lace-up v-neck, almost like a tie-dye type of print, and it's a little bit longer, like tunic length. So I will use like tunic and modest in my keywords. Oh my gosh, I have a ladybug on my pants. So, oh no, there it goes. Our house is like out in the country, kind of. And when it starts to get cold, it's like warm during the day and then cold at night, ladybugs get in our house. And we've had like our pest guy come over, which is actually our neighbor. Pest, is that what you call him? Yeah. Um, and like he, but we didn't have him come over this year, but it's like they get everywhere. Okay, more soft surroundings. This one's a size petite large. And it is this just cute, basic, kind of like a gauzy yellow, almost the same yellow as my sweatshirt. Um, V-neck top. Grace got me this really cool um, Disney World sweatshirt for Christmas, I think, last year. And there's like a stain on this like stomach area. And I've tried so many things to get it out and I can't get it out. But I'm just still going to wear it because I like it. So, yeah. Okay, next we have a pair of Fit Flop shoes. I don't know if you can really see that that well. Fit Flop, they are a size US 11. And they are like a mauve pink leather lace-up shoe. This is like a comfort brand, similar to Vionic, I would say. Um, I just sold a pair of Fit Flop sandals this morning, which is like crazy to be selling sandals when it's almost Christmas, but I did, so excited about that. <coughs> I'm hoping to just keep the camera rolling. Actually, I always keep the camera rolling. I'm hoping to not edit. <laughs> okay, this can be a Bolo brand. This is expensive. It's the brand M. Jemmy. So it is a pair of leather, um, like black croc embossed driving loafers and they are in excellent condition. I've sold this brand a couple of times before. It doesn't tend to sell quickly for me in my experience, but we'll see about these ones. They are made in Italy. They are a size 41. So I'll see with their shoe size conversion chart, what that equals to, but that's an amazing pair of shoes and they were priced at $7. So I was really happy that I did stop at that St. Vincent de Paul because that's great. And then I also found these Sam Edelman Felicia Ballet Flats. And I just sold a pair of these for, I think, $32. These ones are in a gold color, although they have a tiny bit of like scuff marks here. So I'll probably list them a little bit lower, but Ballet Flats are in right now. So I did decide to try them. They are a size eight and a half. And I think these should sell quick if they did anything like my last one. Okay, and then here's my other bag from St. Vincent de Paul. So let's just keep going with this. I feel like I've been finding a lot of figs lately. This is the only scrub brand that I pick up that does good for me. These are a size small. They are a pair of black drawstring Zamora joggers. This style does well for me. I will probably list them at 25 or 30 and they've been selling fast. So happy to find those. Next, we have a pair of bright pink linen pants. This is from the brand Fresh Produce, which I just picked up a dress from the other day. I don't get this in everything, but I will get larger sizes or good material. So since these are 100% linen and a size extra large, I decided to get them. They do have an elastic waist with pockets and they're like a wide leg, maybe like ankle, um, a little bit of a crop maybe, but not too much. Style of pants. Okay. Next, this is a new to me brand, but I looked up comps and they looked pretty decent. So I just felt like how this was printed on here, it could be something good. So here's what the tag looks like. It is Indigena, maybe, in a size extra large. It's a lightweight, like coral, mid-length, jacket. It also has the branding right here, which kind of made me think maybe it was something good. So if you guys have ever sold this brand or heard of it, please let me know in the comments. I do have to try to stain treat the sleeve a little bit, but I think I might have saw comps around 40 for that. So hopefully that does good. We'll try it. 
Um, we have a pair of Judy Blue jeans, which have still been selling good for me in all sizes, but a little bit better in larger sizes. These are a size 14, and they have a style number right inside of there. Oh, it says Slim Fit. So these are like a really light wash pair of high rise jeans. Um, yeah, slim fit. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're probably not skinny, but they're probably not really loose. But I'll look up the style number and see if I can get like a stock photo or whatever. On eBay, I put my stock photos in sometimes, but not as the main picture because they think they're much more strict about it. But on Poshmark, I will put them as the main picture. So... Sometimes I get lazy and I'm like, I don't want to look for it. But sometimes the item, like, I feel like it's just so much better if you can see what it looks like. Okay, these are cabbie jeans for Ryan to sell. They're the high straight. I know he sold these before. Um, he is getting low on clothes. So they are a size 10 black high rise straight pair of jeans. So that's great. And I'll put those up there for him. We have another pair of jeans from cabbie. Again, for Ryan. These are the high low crop in a size 16. So here's what they look like. A little bit of distressing. That's just a sticker that says what size they are. So I wonder if somebody tried to like sell them at a garage sale or something and they didn't sell. Um, but they do have a little bit of a raw hem. Pretty soon this, all this stuff's going to be, I'm either taking it to a buy sell trade store <laughs> or I don't think he even wants to leave his closet open. Like, I feel like once he gets a job out of the house, he doesn't even want to, like, keep it going. Like, I think he probably could, but... So, anyway, I'm going to probably buy it from him for cheap. And I'm either going to take it to buy, sell, trade, thread up, or I'm going to sell it to myself. So, we'll see. Um, Democracy, size 12. This is the Ab Technology. And these are a pair of, like, light olive green, skinny, kind of, like, chino khaki pants. I think I found a few pair of Democracy recently, and I'm still selling at least one pair a week. And then the last ones we have are these AG Adriana Goldschmidt, and this is a style I've never seen before. It's the Alexis Slim High Rise Vintage Fit, and they're in a size 30, so I'm excited to look up comps for these. Um, they were six bucks, so I was like, okay, I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't feel like looking up comps, but I do a lot of the times on stuff that I don't know. But I've sold AG so much. Like, I know what styles don't do good. So, like, and what the lettering looks like or, like, on the label, you know? All right, let's keep going. <coughs> I'm saving these consignment store bags for last. Ellie came back in. She's giving me the stare down. Okay, this was yesterday. I found a pair of Miss Me jeans. These are in a size 29. They are the easy boot. I will use the back pockets as my main picture because usually they're very embellished and that's what people like. This Goodwill is only charging $8, so I gladly pick them up. A lot of my Goodwills charge 10 to 15 and I don't pay it for that, but I will pay eight. And then that's probably about the highest I would go. Okay. And then I have more Judy blue, which is great. These are a plus size, I think. Yeah. Plus size boyfriend fit, size 20. These are like a really distressed, kind of medium to dark wash pair of jeans. Last There was one time I found like five or six pairs of Judy Blue plus size and they sold so fast. So I was excited to find those. These are a pair of Talbot's pants. I got them because they're new with tags and plus size. They're the girlfriend Chino in a size 16 relaxed leg ankle length. But it's like a cute little, like, sailing boat anchor print all over. I'm like, these are cute. And Talbot's plus size does good for me. So I decided to grab them. Next we have, oh, a North Face coat. This came out in the new rack. It is a men's medium. Um, but they were charging $14.99. I might see if Ryan wants it. Um, but I did get him a Carhartt coat for Christmas, like a nice one. So I'm going to guess he would say no, but that could be good. Like he's going up for a, like a winter, um, camp at, for our local church. They go up to Wisconsin and maybe he would want it for there. Okay. Next. I just made a video about this last night. This is the brand, like it's like Disney, her universe, but they kind of have like cosplay kind of stuff. 
This is a size small. I did look up comps for this one, but I looked them up for the other one. So I have to see what this one's going for, but I was like, yes, I'm getting this. It's Belle, and look how cute it is. It has the rose on there, and then it has like the little pictures. It says tail as old as time all over the bottom. And it's so cute, like this little fit and flare style. I'm like, somebody's gonna love this. So I had to grab it. And then here's the one I looked up cost, because this is the one I found first. I wanted to make sure. This one just sold on eBay for $50. So the tag's the same, I'm not gonna show you, but here's what it looks like, wait. Oh, it goes like this. It goes off shoulder. Okay, I saw a whole bunch of pictures of like the off shoulder and I feel like it went for at least 50, but maybe more, I don't know. But it's so cute anyway. It's like, it has the classic, but it's like short, but like look how cute. And then it has like a corset, lace up in the back. Oh, it's so cute, I love it so much. So I was like, yes, thank you, Goodwill. Okay, next we have an exclusively Masuk cardigan slash jacket. This is a size small, it's black with the teal striped trim on the collar and the bottom of the sleeve. Business, workwear, mature type brand. Um, these are for Ryan for Christmas. I'm so excited because I can find a lot of thrifted stuff for Grace, but not very much for Ryan. First of all, he's picky with his style lately. Second of all, he's like my husband. And once he has enough stuff, he's like, I don't need anymore. Whereas Grace is like the classic girl, like, yes, just give me all the stuff. <laughs> um, so there are a pair of Under Armour shorts. And he said he wanted some more Nike or Under Armour casual, like of these kind of like golf type shorts. So I need to wrap those up for him. And then I found these ones too. And these ones are Nike. So gray. So I'm excited that I was able to find him a couple of thrifted gifts. Okay, let me keep going. This next item is a men's Vineyard Vines jacket in a size large. Um, this is kind of like a puffer, but it's kind of lightweight. And it says Vineyard Vines right there. Uh, Mid-length. So I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> okay, these are a pair of Noble shoes. Um, I've sold this brand pretty well before. These ones have a little bit of wear right here on the ankle or like the back. What do you call that? Whatever it's called. They're a women's eight and a half, but I decided to get them anyway. I think I could still sell them for like 30 or $35. If they were in perfect condition, I could probably sell them higher, but I like selling this brand. It's a good like athletic shoe brand to be looking for. Next we have a red Eileen Fisher cardigan. This was with the dresses. It is the older tag, but I'll still pick it up. I don't care. It's a size medium and it is a viscose nylon blend. It's a mid length, kind of like a long line cardigan sweater. So I still could say Christmas and holiday, but by the time it gets listed, that might be over. I could list, I could also use like Valentine's as a keyword, but I have about 65 items in my draft bank right now on eBay and I'm pushing out 15 a day. So I'll take my oldest 15 and list them. Um, this is a cabbie size small, black sheer floral top. You know, that's going to Ryan. Next, this was with the women's, but I was like, oh, I'll sell these. They're a pair of kids Patagonia snow pants in a size small. So I was like, definitely people are going to be looking for snow pants right now. And so, yeah, I was excited to find those. They're kind of like a corally pink color. And then the logo is down here on the bottom of the leg. I don't know what those go for. I just knew I wanted to get them. Okay. Another pair of jeans and it's another pair of Judy Blue. Yay. 20W Slim Fit. These are like medium wash. No distressing. Excellent condition. Yes for that. That bag is done. Let's keep going with some more Judy Blue jeans. Okay, I did not realize I found this many recently. These are a size 31. These are a boyfriend fit. And they are distressed with a lighter wash. And there's nothing else to say about that. But I would keep picking up Judy Blue jeans if I were you. 
because they're selling good. Okay, next. Okay, tell me what you think I should do with this. It's a Lululemon skirt. First of all, it's my size, eight tall. Um, but also, I don't know. I was talking to Grace about this the other day. I'm like, I'm like 42, however old I am. Yeah, no, 43, 42. When you get old, you kind of lose track. I think I'm 42. Yeah, okay, I was born 81, 42. But I was like, I feel like there's certain type of clothes where I was like, I still want to dress trendy, but I don't want to dress like 18 year old trendy. Like, I don't want to be like the mom who's trying too hard, but I still want to look cute. So I'm like, what kind of athletic skirts should I wear? Like, I don't want to wear the like tiny, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Anyway, here's the logo. I think it's faded. I feel like it's faded. Do you guys? So should I sell it as is, or should I try to dye it all like with a black dye? Or like, what should I do? because I think it'll sell good, but I feel like it's faded. And so I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, I don't think I'd wear this style. I feel like it's still pretty short. And even Grace said like when she's tried on some Lululemon skirts before, like they're short. So I have a couple that I think I found thrift store that were maybe sold at Costco or something. And they're kind of a more pencil style, but they're still like mid dye. And I feel like those are cute and not too like try hard, trying too hard. This is a figs size small scrub top. It's a women's just a black top. I don't know. That's going to sell for around 20. Um, next is the brand cool. This says it's an extra, extra large. So I think it's a women's because this looks, I don't know if that's a men's. I don't know if it has a style name. Um, it says downhill racer, whatever that means. How fast must a man go to get out of his own way? Okay. Maybe it is a men's. So I'll give it to my brother then probably because I just got him a cool shirt and I feel like it's also like a wool blend. Um, let me see. Oh, there's a style number back here. So I'll look at that for him. And it is Merino wool, 100% Merino wool. So I'm going to put that in my brother pile. I'm going to be seeing him on Saturday. Next, we have a Prana dress. This is cute. This is an outdoor brand, size large. It's a tank top sleeveless dress and it looks like it's more of like a midi length with this really cool like multicolor pattern design. Okay, this is cool. This was in my thumbnail. Ellie, let's not. Okay. And I could I only found one comp on eBay and someone took an offer of $150. We have an Ellie and we have a cat right here. But look at it. It's this really cool like 90s uh like duffel bag and it has this tag on it. I think when I looked it up, I had Ryan use Google Lens and it said it was like Nike um, 90s Cortez bag. So I don't know what I'm going to list it for, but this was on a new rack and I was like, yes, I was so excited because it's just so unique. So I don't know if you guys have any insight on this, let me know. But I love that. That's like Probably one of my favorite finds just because it's something that I don't normally get and it's like very unique. These are a pair of Sorel boots. These are a size 10 and I'm pretty sure I have these exact boots upstairs. Um, black with the gray, shearling, good condition. So excited to get those. That's the last item in that bag. I have two more Goodwill bags and then two consignment store bags. So let me like reach over and get these. Okay. Remember the other day when I got those like RVT overalls? I found some more, only this time these ones are like short alls. They already have a couple of likes on Depop, which I'm not surprised about. It's like a vintage 90s brand. So these ones are a size medium, just like the overalls, but it wasn't the same store. It was a different store. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll grab these. So that's the shorts version. Next, somehow this store only priced these Uggs at like $8 and they're like a pair of leather Uggs with the shearling, which I'm surprised because they usually price their Uggs at at least $20. Um, so yeah, they were $8. i am like, wow. Um, they're a women's size 9. So I was excited to find those. I don't hardly ever sell Uggs anymore just because they're either like way too beat up or they're marked up too much but I got lucky, I guess, at that store. Okay, next. Oh, I couldn't leave this behind. 
It's a Disney Parks sweatshirt in a size 3X. I think if it was a smaller size, I probably would have left it behind. So, I don't know. Because it's a bigger size, I'm like, I have to get this. But look at how cute. It's like a raglan style pullover sweatshirt. It's in excellent condition. Walt Disney World, 71. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay. Next, a pair of jeans. Democracy in a size 8. This is the Ab Technology. And I think these are a pair of little, like, boot cut. Um, so that's why I got them. I try to get, like, 12 and up, usually, for Democracy. But I think because these are a boot cut that they'll do better. So I was excited to grab those. I'm like, my pile's getting huge over there. So I'm going to start putting stuff over here. This is for my brother. This is a cool shirt. Uh, it's in excellent condition. It came out in the new rack. Men's, short sleeve, lightweight, like polo. So that's going to him. We have a pair of Spanx. I found some Spanx flare jeans at this store last week, I think, or maybe like eight to nine days ago. And I sold them both for like over $60. They were um, a large tall. These ones are a size 1X tall. And they're a pair of like black skinny jeans. So I don't think they're going to do as good as the flare, but I still think they're going to do good because they are a 1X tall and they're like a jeans, not just like the seamless leggings. Um, and then next we have a pair of Athleta pants. Here's the tag for those. These are called the Venice Pin Tuck Pants in a size medium. So they're kind of just like a high rise with pockets, tapered leg, like jogger style. I don't know if I've sold this style before, but that should do good. And the last thing in this bag is a dress. And this is Torrid 6X. I feel like anytime I have Torrid 6X, it sells super fast. So this is a navy and white striped, I think, midi dress. So I don't know since it's a dress if it'll sell as fast. The last item I had was like a white long sleeve top and a 6X and it sold super fast. So we'll see. Okay, let's keep going. We have a North Face men's extra small jacket. I'm gonna ask my brother about this because I think it is down filled. It was $8. Um, let me check, it's like a puffer. Kind of a crappy size for men, but you know. 100% um, polyester insulation. Okay, it's not. It's not down filled, which would have made it better. So we'll see if he wants that. We have a pair of Hot Topic pants in a size large. I got these because I think some goth emo kid's going to love them. They're like, um, have the grommet with the red stripe down the side. And this little hoop for who knows what. I don't know. Like, okay. Somebody will want those. Um, next, we have a Lauren Ralph Lauren skirt. I looked up comps on these and the sell-through rate was over 100% which is amazing. It's a lamb's wool size 14 mini skirt. So I'm like, Ooh, yes. I first, I was like, I'm getting this, but I was like, oh, I better look up comps. I don't know. I don't sell this brand a ton, but yeah, over hundred percent sell through rate. So definitely excited to grab those. I got a swimsuit. My last bikini sold within a couple of days. So I hope this one does the same. It's the brand Freya, which I've sold before in a bra, but I think I sold, I think I saw some sold comps for Freya bikini selling for 40 to 50. This is a black and white, like, almost like a chevron print. That's the bottom. Uh, the bottom is a size U.S. medium. And the top is a size 32J. So, uh, I'll list them together, but I guess we'll see. Very um, cute. It's cute. I wouldn't wear this, but, you know, a little bit more coverage, in my opinion, is better. That's what I really don't understand. Like, I feel like there's some bikinis, like, that can be modest. Like, they're high waist, and then they go down a little bit, or it's, like, up over your chest. But it's, like, you guys wouldn't walk out of your house in, your, like, your underwear, would you? Like, I hope not. So why do you walk out in a swimsuit that looks just the same? Or even more revealing. Like, what the frick? Okay, this is an Anthropology Mave dress. This is a size 12. It is so cute. It is this, like, multicolor sleeveless kind of shirt dress style with the tie waist and the stripes or more like a plaid midi length that's so cute 
I was excited to grab that. We have a pair of tan Democracy Ab Solution khaki chino type skinny jeans. So excited to find those. If you watch my channel, you know that every once in a while I will go off on rants about my opinion. I am conservative <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say what I think. Um, Eileen Fisher size medium black pull on wide leg crop pants. These are a good basic. And so I definitely wanted to grab those. And then the last thing I have is a brand I hardly ever get, but I got them because they're velvet. They are a pair of J. Crew pants. And velvet is selling so fast for me right now. So I'm like, I'm going to try these. They're a navy blue jogger, like, style drawstring velvet pants. So we'll see how those do. Okay, let's get into the consignment store stuff. This was really exciting when I went the other day. It was actually, I think, just yesterday. First, we have the brand Fuzzy, if that's how you say it, or Fuzzy. I've sold shirts from this brand from anywhere from like 65 to over 100, I think. This is a size medium. It's a skirt, which I've never found before, so I'll be excited to look up comps for that. It is a maxi length skirt, but it kind of has like, it kind of is like, I feel like it's like fitted on the top, and then it gets a little like flowy and toolish on the bottom. So... Yes, I'm excited for that brand. This is an outdoor brand that I've sold before. The sweatshirt did really good. The pants I sold okay. Not as good as the sweatshirt, but still pretty good. Steel. These are a size 10. They are a pair of black high-rise corduroy straight leg pant. And I got these on sale for $5. So I was definitely going to grab those. We have a pair of a snake skin. These also feel velvety. Pair of Etro pants, which is also an amazing expensive bolo. These are a size 42. I don't know what that equals to in US sizing, so I'll look it up. But yeah, reptile snakeskin, probably a straight leg, very soft pair of designer pants. That is exciting. This is super soft. Oh, yeah. It's a set. It's a new with tags Eileen Fisher set. So it is a tensile stretch terry. It came with this burgundy pullover like lightweight sweatshirt. And then it has the matching pants. They're both size small, I think. Yeah, small. These are the slouchy ankle pants, it says. I think I paid 48 for the set. But I think going to at least double that or more. I haven't looked up comps, but I've sold new with tags Eileen for a lot before. And this is just a really good like loungewear, like, or just like cozy set. And so I was like, yes, that was exciting. Okay. Next we have Stella McCartney. So this brand in some items doesn't do that good anymore, but I did look up like these knit type of dresses. And I think this is still going to do well. It's a sleeveless black kind of heavy uh, bodycon dress and it has a little bit of like white marks down there so I'll have to get that off but I was excited to grab that Stella McCartney I think I've only sold Stella McCartney once we have a top and where is this from I think it's silk oh I think this is a silk Eileen Fisher striped Long sleeve button up, the um, label's missing, but I think I could tell because of down here, yes. So I've sold Eileen Fisher so much, I know what their tags look like, it's 100% silk. It doesn't say the size down here, so I'll just have to guess. But to me, I feel like it looks like a large. Um, but I'll do measurements, and I will put that in the listing. I'll probably list that for like 50 maybe? My last couple silk tops from Eileen have sold for like 40. All right, this is also extremely soft. I think it's cashmere. This is a J. McLaughlin, yes, 100% cashmere sweater. It is, um, I was gonna say one size. Yeah, I think it is. It's like an animal print pullover, like poncho style. So, so cute with the leopard and the cashmere. And I'm like, oh, yes. Let's keep going. Next, we have a pair of pants. 
And I think these are Lululemon. Yep. And here's the logo right up here. It is just black on black. I don't know the style of these. They do seem like a newer style. So we're going to hope that the size dot is in the pocket. Let me see if I can find it like semi quickly while I'm sitting here with you guys. Meh. Okay, I'm not. Um, we'll look later. But they kind of seem like a pair of like high rise, loose fit ankle straight leg pants. I don't know how else to explain them. Um, here's another pocket. Uh, I was like, I wanted to say the size in case anybody was interested, but I can't find it right off the bat. So it kind of seemed like a medium to me, but I don't know. We will check more into that in a little while. Yay. This is a new debris brand, I think. Yeah. Beaumont, Beaumont Organic. Have you guys heard of that? Um, it's a shirt dress. It's like this brown and white patterned midi shirt dress. So I decided to grab it. I did look up comps because I wasn't familiar. They looked pretty good. It's 100% organic cotton in a size small. So happy to grab that. And then we have a Lily Pulitzer dress. This is a size small. Here's what it looks like. Very bright, colorful, long sleeve little dress. I love selling Lily Pulitzer. One more bag. I am really doing some long hauls lately, so I hope you guys like that. If you're still here, thank you. Okay, next we have a dress by Jay McLaughlin. This is their Catalina cloth, which is what they're like famous for. So I will put that in the title. It's a size large. It is a black and white with like a teal striped, uh, probably knee length dress with a three quarter sleeves. That's exciting. We have a, another pair of corduroy pants. These are from Mother, which I have been finding a lot recently for me. These are the mid-rise Dazzler ankle in a size 25. So super cute. Kind of give me fall vibes, but I'll still list them now. We have a black dress that is so pretty and it's by St. John. I haven't sold a St. John piece or even found one recently forever. So I was so excited to find this. It's a size eight and it is black and it has all of these little like sparkly little beads all over it. And it's so pretty. It's probably a midi length. You can tell that the quality is amazing. It's got the zip back. So super excited to find that. That's so nice. And then we've got a bag and some really good shoes. So we have this to me bag. This was on sale for a little while, but then it went on even further sale. So I grabbed it. It's a nylon crossbody can be uh, purse. The leather on to me is better if you can find the leather bags, briefcases, suitcases even. Um, but I'll still sell this. This is a mess. Every time after I do a haul video, it's such a mess down here. Okay, let's go with the shoes. I've sold this brand before. Mari Guticelli. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Here's what it looks like. These are in excellent condition. They're kind of a pair of like mule heels, I guess. So you just slip them on. Um, they're a size 36. So you can see in the bottom that I don't feel like they were hardly ever worn. So that's exciting. Those are so pretty. I was excited to grab those. We have a pair of black boots by Tory Burch. You can see that, but then here's the side. They are a pair of wedge uh, zip boots. They are a smaller size, I think. Like maybe only a five. Mm, let me check. But I was like, they were so cheap. I'm like, I have to get them. Okay, oh, a size six. Not as bad as a five, a size six. So yes, that's exciting too. And then we have a pair of boots and then one more really pair, good pair of shoes. These are free people, but look how cool they are. They're like this tall leather slouchy block heel boots. They are made in Portugal. They're a size 40. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have to get these. I did not look up comps because they were cheap enough. They might be like an over the knee style, but I'm like, oh, those are so cool. And I'm surprised they already had boots on sale, but I was like, I'll take it. 
Okay, then my last pair we have is Prada. So these are so pretty. These are a pair of Prada, like red suede pointed toe heels. They are in excellent condition on the bottom. They're a size 38. I feel like these have just been like barely worn. Like it even still has that. I was like, holy crap. Like they're so pretty. So I'm really excited to get these listed. I don't know the comps on these. Again, I just grabbed them because I'm like, yes. It also says Prada right here in the buckle. So pretty. So that's my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite item is. I'm going to have to definitely say these Pradas because they're so pretty. But I really like that Nike bag because it's so unique. But that's it. All right. I'll be back. What am I putting this out on? Monday, Sunday. I'm putting this out on Sunday. I'll be back on Tuesday with another haul video for you guys. That time I'm going to let you know what everything is going to be selling for. So sometimes it doesn't go quite as long because it does take me quite a long time to edit it. But that's it for this haul. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.